All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo Legion Y740-17IRHG. All right, at least I think that's what it is, 17IRHG. Yeah, all right, we're going to be using a GAS Zero screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. You want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. The way I do that, I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So we got four towards the back here, we got three here, and then we got four at the front. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove all these screws. This one actually has a bad hard drive, so we're gonna see about removing the hard drive. And then we might have to also, we'll see if we have to replace or upgrade it. Um, if we do, we'll put an SSD in there, uh, but let's go ahead and get all these screws out and take a look. Um, we're also going to kind of take a look at the inside and see what other components are in there. Let's drop my screwdriver. There we go. Okay. Just like that. Go ahead and remove the floor down here. Two, three, and four. Alright, and we'll see if this cover is easy to get off or difficult. Let's try the suction cup method real quick. I'm going to keep my thumb here. Actually, it popped up already. Um, but you can see this front part already kind of popped up and separated. So it looks like the back is going to be the trickier part. I'm going to use my fingernails in the gap here, okay, underneath there, and we're just going to pull it, and it's actually popping out super simply. We're going to go over here, do the same thing, pop that up, and that popped up really easily. Okay, we'll go back here, and wherever you can find the gap, okay, right here. I'm going to just run my fingernails in there and pull on it. And this cover actually comes off really easily, it seems. Okay, so just like that, carefully open it, and there you go. That's what it looks like inside. The battery's actually going bad. It's inflated. That's not supposed to be like that. You can see that. It's very inflated. It's not supposed to be that way. Battery model number is right there. If for some reason you're replacing yours, like it's inflated, um, then it's L17C4PG2. Okay. You got an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD here, one screw, and then it pops up and you can pull it out. I'm not going to take it out because there's a little warranty sticker there. Bio CMOS RTC real-time clock battery here, connects there. Make sure you take note of the connector. The red one is to the left and the black one's to the right where this connector is. Okay, you got this little connector here, which I'm not sure where that's going. Um, huh. I don't know, so I'm not too sure what that's for. Oh, keyboard backlight one, so that's the keyboard backlight connector it looks like. You got the wireless card here, if you need to see that. It's a killer something something. All right, sorry, I can't really. Killer 1550i it looks like. Okay, Intel model 9560NGW. It's very dusty in here, so I will have to clean that up. GPU is here, solder to the motherboard. CPU is here, solder to the motherboard got a giant speaker here connected right there I believe that's a subwoofer you got one speaker here and another speaker here with the connectors right there and right there you got this cable connecting to the USB 3.0 board here um, it looks like it might also control this light or maybe not JHD1 so hard drive connectors right there it has these these have these flip latches these flat cables that you can flip them up and then you can pull them out easily um, hard drive is connected right there. We are going to remove the hard drive. We don't need to take that connector out, but we're going to remove the hard drive because it's bad. You got the keyboard connector here, keyboard or uh, touchpad or trackpad connector there. Battery connectors here. You grab this and you kind of just wiggle it as you pull it to get that out. I'm not going to remove it. Um, and it looks like on some models they actually have an extra SSD slot here, but not this one that the SSD would go this way and you'd have less battery or something. Uh, anything else? I think that's about it. Obviously, you have two fan connectors, two fans, because there's two fan connectors. One here and one here, or two fan connectors because there's two fans. 
And I think everything else is soldered. I am going to have to clean the dust out of the fans. And then I will take a thumbnail and we'll remove the hard drive. Also, the RAM is under here. I just used my fingernail to get underneath this metal box just like this. Okay. Be careful not to drop this metal box inside the computer. So we're just going to work our way up the edges and clip, unclip it. And then we have this. You pull these two tabs to the side. It pops up like that. And then we can pull this out. And the RAM here is a PC4 2666V. All right, you should be okay with any PC4 2666V. This is an 8 gig stick. If you want, you can put two 16 gig sticks um, to get 32 gigs of RAM total. Um, but again, I am gonna just put this back together now, clean the dust out, and then take the hard drive out. Okay, so we'll just slide this back in. Make sure the clips go on right. This one, the clip didn't go on properly. There we go. Okay. Make sure everything's lined up and just clip it all back down. Okay, I'm going to clean the dust out of here and then we'll be back for a thumbnail and then we will remove the hard drive. Um, I don't know if the customer wants another hard drive in there. They probably will need one, but I'll see what they want to do. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. Clean this out. All right, it's a lot cleaner now. You can see the fans are unclogged with dust. Okay, so we are going to remove the hard drive now. Sorry, I didn't do any close-up zooms on this one, but hopefully it's able, you're able to understand. Um, anyways, we got the hard drive here. There's stuff in my way, so we'll see if I can get this in view of the camera. We're going to remove the four screws. Oh, they're still JS0. All right, I've been having an amp problem. They returned after I got rid of them the first time, so I don't know. Every time it rains, they just looking for dry area let's zoom out a little bit here okay so we're going to remove these four we're going to take the hard drive out and then we're just going to put this metal bracket back in without it um, actually i do need to check with the customer what they want to do so let's pop this out just like this you want to be careful because this cable is attached i get my fingernail here to pop out the connector just like that and then we can take this guy out this is the hard drive it's a one terabyte um, two and a half inch SATA hard drive again you can put a two and a half inch SATA SSD in here um, I'm gonna actually use a JAS1 screwdriver to remove the screws from the side of the hard drive here okay if you use the JAS0 you're very likely going to strip the screws and then you're gonna be stuck with that in there okay so we're gonna remove these four screws and then we're gonna see what the customer wants to do with it and we'll put it back together all right there we go now we can take the metal bracket off from the hard drive just like that and let me see what the customer wants to do all right i'll see you guys in a bit all right so i'm back customer decided on a one terabyte ssd so we're going to put that in there basically just put it back into the tray make sure this goes on both sides I don't know why it's being difficult. It might help to do like one side first like that. So the bottom and then just kind of work your way. There we go. Then we're going to get these four screws back in. Obviously, I'm just going to loosely fit them first. And then once we get all four in, we can go ahead and tighten it all up. Okay, so just like that. And the last one. Okay, and there we go. We'll tighten this up that up, tighten this up, tighten this up, there we go, we got all four screws in, we're going to now reconnect this, so to get this back in, you do want to line this up, and then you want to actually hold this in place, and then push the bottom up, okay, so like that. All right, then we'll get this in. And the reason why you push the drive, not this, is because you don't want to accidentally push that down and rip the cable out. Okay, so we're going to get these screw mounts back lined up. Okay, I don't know why this side, there we go. Okay, there we go, get that all lined up. Then we're going to switch back to the JS0 screwdriver and get the four screws back in. And we should be good to go. We do want to, um, I forgot what it's called. Like when you first turn on the computer with the new hard drive, it's not gonna um, detect it right away. So you actually have to go in the disk utility and then um, you have to format it to the right partitions and everything. All right, 
other than that, that's pretty much it. Okay, let's get these last few screws in. And we should be good to go. Okay, so now we got all four of those screws in. We're gonna go ahead and put it back together. So we're gonna probably have to replace the um, the battery. So the customer said they'll order that and then um, it'll just be like, I'll charge them a little more to open it back up and put that in. Um, the battery, I can actually show you here how to do that. Um, they are also JS zero screws, but basically you would get these screws out. Okay, that one, this one. And I'm just going to quickly remove this again, keep all the screws in order. That one, this one. The bottom looks like it has three screws and the top looks like it has two. Okay, so once you remove all five screws, we can go ahead and lift from down here. Okay, you can see we can get this up. Again, you want to get underneath and I try and grab as close as I can to the connector as possible, these cables. And I'm going to wiggle it sideways, side to side as I pull. And you can see it's like walking itself out. Okay, and there we go. That's the battery connector. When you put this back, make sure the red wires go towards the SSD. Black wires goes towards the RAM. Here you can see what it looks like. And if they were having issues pushing the trackpad, it could be the battery was pushing on it and preventing it. But this one design looks like it didn't get bent or anything, so it should be okay. All right, then to put it back, obviously, make sure you get this lined up right. Make sure you push it straight in. You don't want to go crooked at an angle. And then there we go. Get the battery lined back up and we'll get the screws back in. And that's pretty much it. We're going to put the bottom cover back on after we get all these screws in. And yeah, not really much else to show here. There are thermal pads and stuff underneath the heatsink. So if you do remove the heatsink, this make sure that you are ready with some thermal paste. The the um, thermal pads usually you can just reuse them, but the heat sink, the thermal paste you will have to reapply. All right, so we'll get all this out. Okay, so we got all of that back. Now we just gotta put the bottom cover back on. This design again was designed pretty well for popping this off. Um, just line it up, click everything back in. Okay, take a look at the back here and kind of like pinch it all together. Make sure all the clips re-engage. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. Then we just get the screws back in and we should be good to go. These clips actually don't really hold the cover down, so it's more the screws doing the job. So make sure that you hold it in place as you put the screws back in. All right, and that's all there is to it. You're welcome to stay as I get all of this back in place. I will power it up and then I'm gonna check the hard drive, but um, actually they didn't give me the password yet, so that's not gonna be part of the video. Um, but yeah, other than that, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Alright, let's get all these screws back in. And then some people ask me to power it on to see that it turns on. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't, but uh... Yeah, unless the computer's already broken. But uh, it did turn on earlier. Um, it did need to be plugged in though. Um, again, because the battery is bad and also maybe because it wasn't charged. And if you're wondering, these the screw here and the ones on the front are much shorter than the rest. Um, but again, you wanna put the same screws back where you got them. It's not never a good idea to just throw them all in a bucket and just guess which ones were the right ones. Even if they look exactly the same, it's always a good idea to try and put the same screw back where you got it. Okay, so the battery here is actually pushing up on this cover and making it pop up. But uh, yeah, okay, let's get these last few screws in. Good, and the last, last one. And there we go. All right, let's flip this over, power it up, and we should be good to go. Put these screwdrivers away. Flip this guy over. 
get the cat hairs or whatever that's stuck in there. All right, let's open it up and power it on. And I can see the keyboard is lighting up all rainbow colored, so we should be good. And there's the Legion. And also they have, I think, uh, Linux or something on here. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, let's drop this bike.